All right, Antonio, obviously a performance uh, by the looks of it. So you weren't happy with performance uh, in Montreal tonight? No, definitely not. Like, even, you know, just the booze alone kind of upset me a little bit because, I mean, that's they pay to see a, a good fight, and um, I don't think I delivered, so kind of disappointed there. From the outside, it looked like there was some there was hesitation in your step and everything you were throwing. Was, it, was there something heading into the fight that wasn't right? I don't know. I just, you know, training went great. The coaching was fantastic. I didn't execute tonight, and it's all on me, so. What about Rodrigo Dam? How much of his game plan was causing an issue for you? You weren't able to execute. Absolutely, man. Rodrigo's a veteran. The guy knew exactly what he was like. He, he, he trained for three months for this fight. Um, I know I know he took, he took me seriously. We were supposed to fight in Toronto originally, and he, he actually asked for more time. So he's like, I want, to, I want more time to prepare. And he prepared for me, and he was well prepared. And um, I just couldn't get off for some reason. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't set up my hands, you know, well. And the only thing I had were some decent kicks. And... You know, the one time that I did throw my right hand, I actually did land it and rocked him a bit, and um, I didn't, I didn't show that, that that right hand that I have, and it wasn't there, and my lead side wasn't there, and my footwork wasn't there. Um, lots of things weren't there. <laughs> you mentioned you heard the boost. Did you also see Anderson Silva in his corner, and how much did all of that play into the oh, fact yeah. that it was yeah, completely sure. different? Absolutely. Yeah, I did see that actually, and, and you know what? They're all from X Gym, and, and you know, my my instructor, you know, my my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructor is an instructor at X Gym, so it's kind of. Is, is an interesting situation because you know the guys are in this corner. I know them, and and when I was in Brazil, I I, I you know obviously got to, to speak with them, and, and they know that I'm Silvio Baring's student, and it's just an awkward situation in that sense. And for sure, when I saw Anderson in his corner, and um, I was like, okay, well, you have Anderson Silva in, in his corner, and so that that definitely was a big boost for him for him, I'm sure. Uh, whether it played in, into the into my head, maybe it did a little bit because I certainly did see him. He's such a presence, right? He's a champion. Um, but yeah, it, it was um, it's one of those fights that that I don't know. I, I guess I should count my blessings just because I, I did get the win and I got the W, and I and I really and like I said, I, I'm I'm happy for that. Um, I don't like these close calls. I really don't, man. This is not my style at all. There's appear, there appears to be some damage on your face. Is there anything broken? Any damage to the body at all? No, no. Um, a couple of grazing shots that hit me that were, you know, that's why my nose was bleeding, but nothing like the doctor checked and I, I can, nothing. Just, you know, he's a very heavy handed guy. I just had to be, be careful, make sure my, my, um, my, my shell was up nice and tight and, and, uh, and I did that, and he definitely's got some pop. Like, and that's the thing I, I, I said before about him coming down to featherweight. He's a strong featherweight. He's a powerful guy. Um, and he's good on the ground. And uh, he did a little slick move on me in the in the second. I, I, I lucky for me, I, I felt it coming, and I knew it was there, and I rolled out at the right time because you know I wouldn't want that guy on my back because that would have been awful. Did you actually explain what you did there? It was almost like you know he, he was getting your back, and you almost did a forward roll. Yeah, it's a game roll, wrestling technique. You know, just straight from wrestling, and, and I rolled out, and he flew off of me, and just you know good training. I mean, at least that that was instinct that was there, and I'm very proud of that part. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I just All right, final question. Final yeah. question. What is the learning curve? You haven't seen the fight yet, but what have you learned from this fight that you can take forward? Are you going to take some time off right now, Tony? Are you going to wait a couple months? Uh, are you waiting for the UFC's call to get right back in there? People, sometimes guys want to get right back on the horse. What's the learning curve that you learn, get from this fight? For me, it's nothing to do with technique, nothing to do with, you know, there's something else that's going on with me that I, I still haven't figured out yet. And, uh, you know, Maybe I should see a sports psychologist or something. And that's why I got into this sport, man. It's one of those sports that's not, you got to be honest. And I didn't turn on today at all. I, I felt sluggish the whole day. And, and, and the camp went f amazing. I, I had such a great camp, injury free. And then I get here and I felt absolutely flat the whole time. And, you know, it just happens. But, you know, I should be able to turn on and I didn't. And uh, these things bug me. And, you know, when that Antonio Carvalho shows up, you know, you get performances like that. Um, I also was walking into this fight with a, a performance in Calgary that I knew I couldn't never live up to again, you know, because it was just too perfect for me. Um, just everything just aligned properly that night and it worked. So I think you're being a little too hard on yourself, but at the same time, I'll tell you what. Why don't I come to the gym next week and you can beat on me and then maybe you'll be better the next UFC fight? You know, it'll probably make me feel better, Joe. That's why you're, you're one of my best buds, you know, make me feel better all the time. I'm not going to like my uh, my career next week. Thank you very much for your time, Tony. Thanks, Joe. You're awesome. There you have it. Antonio Carvalho, victorious by split decision versus Rodrigo Dam at UFC 154.